security. So as women of God, you too, people will challenge you because you're a woman, because you're a servant. They will even on social media, but don't entertain it. Let it go. You know who you are. And when you know who you are, that's enough. You don't have to explain yourself to no one. Amen? Amen. First Timothy 4.12 says, Let no one look down on your youthfulness, but rather in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. Show yourself an example of those who believe. Never let no one look down upon you because you are a woman, because you are a minister, and because of your age. That's what it's saying. Many times you will have men challenge you as a woman. God is raising up mighty women of God. Amen. We are the ones who are dominating the church anyways. Amen. God chooses who he wants to choose. Yes. It's not man, but it's God. Oh. So don't let no one degrade you because you're teaching the word of God. It doesn't mean you're perfect, but you're teaching. You're doing it for him and not anybody else. Amen. 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 So what is a minister? It's a, a minister is a person who is ready to serve God's people. They are able to teach, conduct the house of, of God. They perform weddings, funerals, etc., etc. And I emphasize servanthood. We never carry the spirit of arrogance because we now have a title. We stay humble before God. But at the same time, you're not weak, but you're made strong. Amen? You stand bold in who God has called you to be. Amen? Amen. So are women called to teach? Yes, because they will say, they were told to keep quiet in the church. And those are the people who read the word, but they don't study it. Because back in that time, women sat on one side, and an apostle was talking to, to one particular church. Men sat on one side, the women sat on the other side while the rabbi was teaching. The women would interrupt and ask their husbands questions. And that particular church was told, the women were told to be silent. Amen? Amen. It's not all women. So let's get into the word. Acts chapter 2, verse 17 says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Uh -huh. That means your children, yes. women, and men, and your teenagers. Amen? Amen. 